So the British are set to debate on whether to block Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump from entering the United Kingdom. This move comes after more than half a million people signed a petition asking for Donald Trump to be barred from England in the wake of his proposal to temporarily ban Muslims from entering the United States until we figure out what the heck is going on, as Mr. Trump has often said. So Benjamin Hall is in London to tell us how they're feeling about all this and how this petition came about. Hey, Benjamin, good morning. Good morning, Martha. Well, yes, look, this petition came about in this debate because in the UK, if a petition gets more than 100,000 signatures, then the UK government has to respond to it. And that's what they're doing at the moment. And if you can believe it or not, the British government will today have a three hour debate in which well, they will discuss whether Donald J. Trump should ever be allowed to enter the UK again. Three hours, an amazing amount of time, but the debate itself is not legally binding. However, the government could choose to act on this later, which seems unlikely. One member of parliament has already come out and said that today, she intends to tear Donald Trump to shreds during the debate. The petition has so far received 570,000 signatures, and that's still going up, most in that first week, and it follows Trump's comments about banning all Muslims from going to America, and that caused quite a backlash here in the UK. 7% of the population here are Muslim, that's well over 2 million people, and Trump has already previously said that London is so radicalized that the city's police force are afraid of their own lives, that there are no-go zones here. Trump has now responded to the petition, saying that in Britain they are pandering to political correctness, and he's threatened to pull around a billion dollars of investment from the UK if he is banned, mainly via investments in his luxury Scottish golf courses. He has already, however, been removed as a business ambassador to Scotland. Martha. Wow. I can just imagine the field day he's going to have with the fact that they're spending three hours talking about him in Parliament today. So what's the likelihood that he actually would be banned from the United Kingdom? His mother was Scottish. That, that's right. Look, practically zero. The government is responding to the petition and that's all. But David Cameron has already said he rejects any idea of a ban, though, as we heard earlier, he has called his words divisive, stupid and wrong. However, the British Home Secretary does have the right to ban people from the UK, and this has happened in the past to people such as Terry Jones, the pastor, Mike Tyson, the boxer, and uh, Chris Brown, the musician, to name just a few. So, look, it's likely that this issue will end at this debate, but it's going to be interesting to see what is said over these three hours, and of course, we'll keep you updated as that happens. Hey, Mike Tyson from the UK. I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Benjamin, thank you very much.